let's do a four variable function with a multiplexer f of x or f of a b c and d equals the summation of go ahead throw pick some numbers one four we go up to 15 so go ahead 12 13 15 And I want to actually build that using a 16 by 1 mux. Part A. Let's add some more, actually. It's all right. Use 16 by 1 mux. I was about to put some more. Part 2, use 8 by 1 mux. And part 3, use... 4 by 1 mux. I'm going to do it three times. Sixteen by one mux, you'll see when we go to the lab, you gotta power them first too. So I'm gonna assume the power is on, the chip enables on, all that stuff is good. This is my F of A, B, C, and D. <coughs> Excuse me. It has 16 inputs. It's a 16 yep. Now you for I was counting. You made me forget now. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. You did 17. 17? You sure? sure you you okay. 16 by 1 mux. That means I'm going to have four control signals. And my four control signals are, or select signals, are A, B, C, and D. And if you remember the way this multiplexer works, when you have 0, 0, 0, 0 on the select signal, your output is going to be whatever attached to pin 0. When 0, 0, 0, 1, your output is going to be whatever attached to pin 1. So I want it to be high at 1. This is 1. At 3. 4. 7. 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, hey, wait a minute, I think I was right, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I was right, uh oh, I had enough, and the 15. The rest of them, what do you want to do? Grounded. The rest of these you ground. So wait, what is the A, B, C, D on the bottom of the control? These are, they'll tell you which one is going to be on the output here. So when you have 0, 1, 0, 1, what's that number equal to? Five. Whatever on pin number five is going to go right there. What's pin number five? Zero, one, two, three, four, five. This is five. So What's five ground? The output's going to be zero. It's supposed to be zero. Okay. When you have <coughs> zero, one, one, what's that equal to? Seven. Mm -hmm. Your output's going to be whatever attached to pin number seven, which is what? VCC. was supposed to be high. It is high. So when my output is one 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 one. Fifteen. What's attached to fifteen? High. Your output is high. So what it does is just chooses one of these. Yep, it chooses which one of these is gonna be actually here. Mm. And the reason the insides and gates and in the end will be one one for fifteen will be one 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 
and that input. So for that, if you look at that, actually, if I try to show you what the inside here at that point, I'm just showing arrow what the inside of that looks like. It will be an AND gate and attached to it A, B, C, and D. And all of them are OR together. That's where the OR gate right here, you know. So it'll be an AND gate here attached at A, B, C, D. So when all of these guys are one, oh, I have to add VCC here too. Right, oh, in this case VCC. Whatever that pin is, pin 15. I just labeled pin 15 instead of VCC. Whatever pin 15 is going to it. So it depends on pin 15. So this is one, 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 one. If you make that zero, what are you gonna have? Zero. If you make that one, what are you gonna have? One, that's what this one says. Whatever you attach to this one, when you put one, 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 is gonna be right there. Because the inside of that's an AND gate and you have A, B, C, D going to it, and pin number 15. For, go ahead. So if it's one, 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 for example, A, B, C, D, you know that it's all, it, it chooses out of all the AND gates, it chooses this. Yep, because pin number seven, if I show you what seven looks like, it's gonna be an AND gate attached to it, A going through a NOT gate, B, C, D and pin number seven. So what happens when you put one, 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 one? This is zero, right? Because that'll be a, a zero here. An AND gate with the zero going through it to the O, it doesn't affect it. So this is not a factor on this. But what happens when you put zero, one, one, one? This guy is off because this has a value of zero now. No factor. When you put a zero here, you got a one, 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 one. It depends on pin seven, where you attach to pin seven. So this would be whatever on pin number seven, and it comes down this way. Okay. That's how the inside of each one of these looks like. It's an AND gate going to it, the address plus that pin. So A would be zero? B yep, complement, yep. Okay. Complement the zero, you get a one, you get a one, you get a one, you get a one. So the result of this gate depends what you attach to pin seven. So it's like, a, uh, it's in other words, a true false factor. If it's one 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 one, it's not going to work for seven because it's false. Correct. That won't work for this. It won't. The one 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 only is going to work for this. The other fourteen or fifteen pins will be off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to design this. I want the same function using eight by one, which means I really have to look at the K map for that. So I got to go and do the K map for this. So here's my function. Zero, 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 the result is zero. Same function, zero, 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 one, that's one, the result is one. Zero, zero, one, zero, that's a two, the result is zero. Three is one, zero, zero, one, one, that's a three. Zero, Four, one, zero, zero, that's a one. Five is zero. Six is zero. Seven is what? That's a one, right? Mm -hmm. Eight is zero. Nine is zero. Ten is zero. 11 is 0, 12 is what? 1, 13 is 1, 14 is 0, and 15 is 1. That's the truth table for that function we listed. I'm going to leave this space. I'm going to do the, four by, the 8 by 1 here and the 4 by 1 under it. I think I can squeeze them in. 8 by 1, you have one output, and you have eight inputs, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
That means I have three control signals. Remember, you have two to the N inputs here. You have N control signals. Three will give me eight inputs. Four will give me two to the four, 16 inputs. Two will give me four inputs. So my inputs, what I'm going to use, are the most significant bits, A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. A, B, and C. OK, good. Let me cover the rest of these. Just look at the first two. The reason I use A, B, and C here, because they'll be next to each other. When A is 0, B is 0, and C is 0, that's these two cases. When you have 0, 0, 0, F is going to be whatever attached to pin 0. And what do you want pin 0 to be attached to? What should we attach it to? D. D. Yes. When D is 0, F is 0. When D is 1, F is 1. It looks like F follows D. Now the next group. Let me cover the top two. That's when you have 0, 0, 1. That's pin number 1. And look at your F and look at your D. What do you notice about them? Same thing, right? 0, 1, 0, 1. That's the same. Pin number 2. And look at F and look at D. What do you have? D naught. The complement. When it's zero, you got a one. When it's one, you got a zero. Do you have to look at them together? Like that though? Yep. Because D could be zero or one. Correct. For each of those pins. So you're actually creating two. The only time you don't look at them if they're both zeros, then it doesn't matter what D is. Like here, when you have zero, one, one, that's pin number three. And notice your output is the same as D. Pin number four. It doesn't matter what D is. What's your output? It's always zero. That's ground. This one is also what? Ground. This one is what? VCC, right? High voltage. And the last one is what? D. So you take A, B, and C, you attach them here. D, 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 and D naught to that one. And VCC and ground. And as you play with the switches, A, B, C, and D, you'll see that function gives you the same thing. So how does that look inside? Same thing. You at, you're attaching the switches to this. So the inside, for example, let me pick this one here. Two, pin two. Mm -hmm. So what's attached to it? It's an AND gate with pin number two going to it. To get to that, that has to be what? Zero, one, zero. Mm -hmm. So A will have a knot going through it. B is straight. And C will have a knot. So when you put 0, 1, 0, you got a 1, 1, 1 here and whatever you attach to pin number 2. So if you attach D naught to it, you'll get D naught. If you attach D to it, you get D. If you attach ground, you get ground. If you attach VC, you get VCC. And the last one, I wanted to do this with 4 by 1 mux. That means one output. Four inputs, two control signals. Again, I use the most significant because it makes it easy on me. Notice, look at these four. When A is zero, B is zero, right next to each other. That's why I like to put them, please the most significant here, because I'll be looking at these four. Let's look at F. What do you notice about F? Same as what? Same as D. So it looks like C is not a factor. When D is 0, you got a 0. D is 1, you got a 1. D is 0, you got a 0. D is 1, you got a 1. What happens to C? C is not a factor. Don't care here. 
Let's look at the next group. Zero, one. These four. Uh-oh. When they're both the same, you get a one. When they're different, you get a zero. I think we have a, ga a gate similar to that. A gate. Remember what the XOR gate is? The XOR gate looks like this. And when these guys are different, you get a one. When they're the same, you get a zero. Well, this is backward. So we, this is XOR. We have one called XNOR. And you attach C and D to it. When they're both the same, you get a one. When they're different, you get a zero. Opposite to XOR. So XOR When you have the same, you get a zero. Zero, one, you get a one. One, zero, you get a one. And one, one, you get a zero. That's the or. The nor is the complement of that. So there's a knot here. I don't know if you can see the knot. That's the nor. Now the next group. Guess what that means? Ground. Doesn't matter what you have going to be a zero all the time. And the last one. Is it a nor again? A nor, a nor again? Well, let's look at this. You're going to have a value of one here, 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 or you're going to have a value of zero there. What are you going to put? What kind of a gate? Can I do an OR gate instead of three AND gates? Let's think about this. And can I attach to it C naught and D? C naught and D. Well, let's take this scenario. When C is zero, what's the knot of that? One. One. What's one OR zero? One or zero or one. 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 Did you get the one here? Yep. When C is zero, D is one. What's one or one? One. Did you get a one here? Yep. When you have one zero, complement the one. What's zero or zero? You gonna have a zero? When it's one and one, complement that zero or one. What do you have? One. And that seems that will do it. Instead of three AND gates or together, I said one OR gate. Tell me when it's going to be zero. It's going to be a zero when this is one and that's zero. So I need to complement that to make it a zero and leave that alone. So that actually, that chip here now, an OR, an XOR, and I got this is F function. I use four by one muxes to build that circuit. Wait, what's the difference between an XOR and an OR? Complement. X or an or? Yeah. Is, is that what you're asking? Mm -hmm. You tell me. This is the X or truth table. What's the or gate looks like? What's one or one? Uh, oh, it's the opposite. Okay. Yeah, that'll be a one. It'll be zero, one, one, one. So it's not the same. So it's just when they're the same, they're zeros. When they're different, they're ones. That's the X or, yes. It's actually there's inside that where you look at it's two AND gates or together. That's what the XOR is. Two AND gates. Two AND gates. Together. Yep. It looks like this. A not going to one and B going to that. You can't see it by the screen. And the other one looks like A and B not. So when they are different, you get let's say zero one. This becomes one and one, which is a one. Order with anything is one. Mm -hmm. When this is one and that's zero, this will be a one. Order with this one, that'll be a one. Any other one will give me a zero. When you have zero, zero, this will be zero. When they're one, one, this will be zero. So you only get 
one. So that's really what the inside of X or two AND gates or together, but they come already made on a chip. Yep. We have X or and we have uh, X nor. So that's the multiplex. So that was the last thing we did last time. We didn't get a chance to go to the lab and play with them. We will go to the lab and play with them. Next class, try to hook them. This co yep, on Thursday, we will be going to the lab. I had a homework for you to do on multiplexers. Now, there's other devices on the market we're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at ROMs, PLA, and PAL. PLA, Programmable Logic Array, PL, Programmable Array Logic, backward. But let's look at the ROM. Now, when you have a lot of inputs, like let's say 16 uh, or 10 inputs, 2 to the 10 of the 1024, so you're not going to be using all these decoders and multiplexers and forget it. You're not going to use a 124 by 1 MUX. So a ROM 